Hello Cancer, it's Bunny here. Welcome to my sacred space of love and healing. This is going to be your twin soul reading for August. Alright, um, so I've already um, sound cleansed our space. We are going to do things a little bit differently this time. Um, I have my Rider Waite deck here and what we're going to do is I'm going to be pulling two cards for your energy, two cards for your person's energy, and then we're going to do an advice from spirit's card. And then we will be moving on to messages of love, oracle deck from your person. Um, and I have my numerology deck, which will be drawing a card from there. And we are going to end with a getting into the vortex card from Esther and Jerry and Abraham Hicks. So if you've been following me for a while, you know that I absolutely love Abraham Hicks. And so um, I had to get her relationship deck. I just had to. All right. So let's go ahead and dive right in. All right. So as I said, I'm doing my readings a little bit different this time. I will only take the cards which fly out and I'm going to be laying all of the cards face down um, as I'm doing them by section, right? Um, I'm not going to flip the cards over until... Um, I get the cards out because I don't want me seeing any of the cards to influence the energy of the cards. That way, you know, this is your energy, your person's energy. Okay. I, I don't want to influence the cards in any way with my energy <laughs> by looking at a card and going, Oh my God, you know, like you're getting excited or whatever. Okay. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Let's get two cards for cancer's energy. Please. Why is that upside down? Two cards for Cancer's energy. We're going to take two cards for Cancer's person and a advice from Spirit card, please. Thank you for allowing me to be the clear channel for source messages. Cancer's energy in regards to this connection. Whoa, your card flew on the bed. All right. Another card for Cancer's. Why did they give me three cards for you? What in the actual hell? <laughs> Guess we're doing three. All right, two cards for Cancer's person, please. Two cards for Cancer's person. Whoa, oops, that one I saw a little bit. It was a six of pentacles. Okay, one more card for Cancer's person, and then we're gonna do an advice card. It is so hot in here, y'all. Oh. Card for Cancer's person, please. Your person does not want you to know shit. Just so you know. Like, nothing's coming out. Card for Cancer's person, please. There we go. And can we get an advice card from Spirit, please, about this connection? Ooh, that one. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Let's 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 go. Um, we'll do the Messages of Love deck in a minute. All right. So, for your energy, we have um, Nine of Cups and... Wheel of Fortune, Temperance, holy crap, Cancer. Okay, so <laughs> you're really, really feeling like this person is a, a wish come true. This person is everything that your heart desires, right? The Nine of Cups is the wish fulfillment card. It's a feeling like all of your wishes have came true the minute that you laid eyes on this person, right? And we have the Wheel of Fortune and Temperance. So you've had to be really patient in this connection. Sorry, I know that sucks. Um, I mean, the Twin Flame journey, I feel like, is all about patience anyways. Um, people have, people, you know, can be on the Twin Flame journey for years. Years, years, and years. And, you know, so it takes... It takes a really strong individual to be on the twin soul journey. It takes a really strong individual to be patient during this journey. And I see that you've had to be really patient. There's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, Cancer, a whole bunch of karmic cycles that you have nipped in the butt recently. Oh my God. You should be so proud of yourself. You should be so proud of yourself. So, so proud of yourself. I mean, look, the Wheel of Fortune is about get, you know, 
taking care of karmic cycles, um, unfinished business, all of that stuff. And Wheel of Fortune is also about fate. Fortune favors the brave, right? It's about because you've worked so hard and getting rid of all of these karmic cycles, not just for you, but for past generations and past ancestors, right? Because of that, you have a great reward coming, which is in the form of your person, right? I'm sorry, my energy is a little bit off. I just got out of work and I came straight to these readings. So I'm a little bit... All right. Um, I don't even know what that means. But yeah, I'm that. Um, so this is a change of fate for the better. Okay. Um, you indeed do have a wish coming true in regards to this connection. Right. Let's see your person's energy and see, see what's happening. If wowzers, ugh, this is incredible. Okay. So there will be a wish fulfilled in regards to this connection. I don't know exactly what the wish is going to be, but spirit is saying there is a wish that's being fulfilled somehow in this connection soon. Okay. Your person's energy. We have six of pentacles and we have judgment. So what this tells me is that your person is finally cancer. Finally, they are willing to put in the work and they want to meet you energetic wise where you're at. Okay. So whether this means vibrationally, they've, um, you guys are at the same frequency or whether this means they decided they want to give to this connection, right? For, for a while there was an imbalance. It was like one was giving too much. Another one wasn't given enough. Right. But your person with the judgment card, they've been doing a lot of soul searching, a lot of self-reflection and a lot of self-healing. And they've done so much work on themselves. And during this journey, they have realized that, you know, they were not giving an equal amount to this connection. And so now, you know, they're going to give equally to this connection. Also, I see that there is a frequency match. So this is literally a perfect time for union, right? Your your guys' frequencies are the same. Where you feel like their wish come true, they feel the same way. I'm going to get this advice from Spirit. Page of Wands. So Page of Wands is, this is advice from Spirit. So this is talking about growth, okay? They're saying, be patient just a little bit longer. Right now, you and your person are probably in a separation phase. I don't know for sure. I'm going to tell you the same thing like I told Taurus, right? I just read for Taurus. So here's the thing. The separation phase is so important. You cannot skip the separation phase. If you are in separation right now from your twin flame, let me just give you a huge, huge, huge hug because it is so not easy. Imagine what it feels like to be separated from your soul. It hurts. Why did my camera just do something weird? One second. Okay, sorry about that, Cancer. My blue light filter came on on my phone. And so... Okay, anyways, um, I'm not trying to get distracted. Sometimes I have a squirrel brain and I'm just like, oh, I'm just going to get distracted. Um, the separation phase is so very necessary because what the separation phase does is it prepares you for union. Okay, in during the separation phase, both you and your twin go separate ways. You guys come back together when you're ready but during the separation phase each twin needs to go their own way to heal to deal with trauma to deal with triggers okay because when you come into union with your twin you want to be in your best self you want to be in your higher self skin right you want to be the best version of yourself for your twin so that when you get together, you're not triggered, you're not fighting, there's not weird shadows that are coming up, okay? If you can do most of the work away from your twin, when you get together, your union will be so much more smooth. And isn't that what you want, Cancer? Isn't that what you want? My beautiful Cancers, yes, that is exactly what you want. So right now, you might be in a separation phase. It's very necessary. Spirit is saying, allow the growth to happen. Don't be afraid if you, if, if the growth that you see is just a little tiny bit and you're just seeing tiny buds and you're going, I am not making progress like I'm supposed to be. Trust that you are. Trust that you are, are making 
so much progress so much more right have you ever seen um a tree and like you know there's a little tiny it's a little tiny tree it's about this big and that's all you see is the bud at the top but if you look down beneath the ground the roots of that little tiny tree are about this big right they're 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 all the way in in mother gaia and so you might be saying oh there's i i, I don't i haven't made as much growth or progress as i want to and you're feeling discouraged and please please my beautiful cancer don't feel like that because you have came so far you have came so far and i am so proud of you and spirit is so proud of you and you know you should be proud of yourself and your twin flame is so proud of you because that this little bud this little growth is massive on the 5d scale right it's propelling you into this timeline of union coming up for you and your twin soul okay let's get some messages from your person and then we're going to do a numerology card and end with the vortex card for you. What does Cancer's person want them to know? What are the secret um, messages from their heart? After this, stay tuned. I will be reading for Leo. And then after that, I will just have to read for um, Aries and Libra. I think Aries and Gemini. Oh, and Gemini. But I felt guided today and all of the cards are face down. I only get them um, when the cards fly out. I leave the cards face down so that you know that my energy or my my seeing the card is not influencing the read in any way, right? Because sometimes I'll see a card and I'll get excited and I'll be like, ooh, and then it influences the rest of the reading because, you know, I see a card, it says love, and I'm like, oh, love, and then the whole read is just about perfect love and blah, blah, blah. And it just, and then it's just my energy just influencing the read because I get excited about things like love. Okay, so, oh my gosh, hold on one second. I just pulled my hair, it hurts. Okay, sorry about that cancer, it's so much better. Like sometimes my, I have so much hair that when I'm shuffling, like I just literally shuffle and get into the cards and it just hurts. All right, so we have one message from person. Can we get one more card for Cancer's person? What is Cancer's person? What are the secrets of their heart? They may have not have revealed to Cancer. There's two. Get one more. We always get three. Sometimes, you know, your person is shy. They don't want you to know what's going on. And so we don't always get three, but we'll try. Can we get one more from Cancer's person, please? One more from Cancer's person. Oh, they did give me three. Okay. We have escape. I left when things got hard. So your person may have this. I feel like if you're watching this, you're probably the chaser. They're probably the runner. Um, your person has a tendency when things get difficult, they get scared, they run. And here's the thing with twin flames, your twin, they're your mirror. So if this is happening, you need to ask yourself, Cancer, like where in your life do you run when you experience fear? Do you have a tendency to when things get heavy and, and you know, when things get intimate that you leave out of fear? Because your person is your mirror and they are your trigger, right? So they will show you what needs to be healed by triggering that in you and vice versa, okay? And I talk about all of this in my Twin Flame class, which I'm creating right now. Um, it's gonna run about $100, you guys, and it will be recorded so you can watch it whenever you want. You know, it's yours to keep. I'll give you the link to it. Um, and we're gonna talk about uh, different connections. We will talk about twin flame connection. We'll talk about high level soulmates. We'll talk about activators. We'll talk about false twins, soulmates, um, all of those different connections. We'll talk about um, how to recognize your twin flame. Why did my camera just do that? It was really weird. We'll talk, it's 1444 on my phone. All right, we'll talk about um, how to recognize your twin flame with the twin flame birthmarks and all of that. 
So lots of wonderful things that I have been studying over the years as a Twin Flame reader. All right, um, we have disagreements. I wish you understood how I feel. So there may have been periods where you and your twin were biting heads, you didn't disagree about, about certain things, and they're really just saying that there was never any intent to hurt you. Um, they felt very misunderstood and you know, they really want you to know what goes on in their heart of hearts. But, you know, we can't always know what's going on inside of the head of another human being. The thing is, twins are the closest thing, though, to that. Like, a lot of twin flames will communicate through telepathy. So a lot of times, if you do tune in, tune in to your inner voice, you can indeed hear what your twin is thinking. It takes a lot of practice, though, and a lot of stillness. Forgiveness. I'm struggling to get over the past. Wow, this is coming out for a lot of the twins. Um, in the read I did for Taurus, it was the same thing. Um, you know, there there could be, there's a religious factor here. Um, I hate to say it and to talk about it, but this has come up before in Cancer's read. Um, something about sexual abuse in regards to, you know, a church clergy. And I, I really hate to be connected to an energy like that. But it happens. It does happen more often than we like to believe, especially in churches and religious places. Um, not everybody, you know, has the best intentions, right? And those things can be very damaging. So if there's anything like that that has happened to you, my beautiful Cancer or to you person, I just want to take a moment to give you just a huge, beautiful hug because I know from personal experience, that's all I'll say about it, that these things can be very, very damaging. And especially to, you know, your sexual nature um, when you're a child. So huge energetic hug. Um, but your person is, is dealing with that. They're struggling to get over, you know, sexual traumas. They're struggling to get over, um, things that happened to them in the past in regards to probably a religious figure, um, or just things in general that have happened in their past, but they're not shying away from it. They're actually dealing with the trauma. So that's a good thing. Okay. Because, <laughs> you know, if you heal yourself, you heal your twin and vice versa. Twin flames do share an energetic frequency and an energetic body. So, you know, if, if you are struggling with something health-wise, your twin flame absolutely can heal you um, by changing their lifestyle and taking care of their body and healing their physical 3D body as well. So not a lot of people know that. I will also talk about that in my Twin Flame card. Let's go ahead and get a numerology card for you, Cancer. All right. Oh, ta, that flew out. One second. Okay, so we have 85, follow your dreams. Beautiful. So it's number 13, and you add, let's see. Yes, 13, add it up, and it's 4. So... Um, you are being divinely guided at this time from your angels to follow your soul path, okay? Some of you right now may be confused about what your soul path is or what your soul purpose is. And you are being guided by your internal compass of your soul to find your true sense of service and your soul path. So that way you can serve humanity the best way possible. All right, beautiful. I love that so much. All right. Um, let's go ahead and get the last card for you from the Getting Into the Vortex advice card from... What the fuck? I mean, what the hell? <laughs> Sorry. I have my camera light on so it's really bright <clears throat> so you guys can see me. I do have makeup on but I don't know if you can tell because it's my camera's really bright and it's, I've had it on all day since like 8 30 in the morning so I was working. All right so what is the final card of advice for cancer please? 
Ooh, well, I don't know if I'm gonna take that. It kind of like popped out wrong. I don't know how to explain it. Like, it didn't pop out. Like, it started to pop out, and then I used my hand to pop it out. And I don't wanna, I don't wanna take it because then it's like my energy influencing the read, right? All right, I don't wanna do that. I want this to be all about cancer and cancer's beautiful energy. All right, what do we got? There's nothing coming out. I'm so sweaty. I should take these pants off. Um, flawed premises can attract true unwanted evidence. Wow. Okay. If you were to hear a false premise again and again until you yourself began to believe and repeat it, now your own activation of the contradictory vibration would interfere with your sense of intelligence and you would begin to attract evidence of your belief. In effect, proving the false premise to be true. And so it becomes increasingly hard for you to call this a false premise when the evidence seems to be telling you that this is true. For over time, you come to believe it is true. So be careful because there might be people around you that are saying, oh, cancer, that's not what this is. It's not a twin flame connection. That's not what this is. That's that's not the right person, blah, blah, blah. And you start to hear these false things from people who don't, don't know anything at all, absolutely nothing at all about your journey. And you start to believe them, right? And then what happens is we start to doubt our soul, our own soul. And if your soul is telling you that this person is your twin flame nobody can tell you who is and isn't your twin flame and if they tell you that then they're lying they're absolutely lying okay so be careful not to listen to what anyone else is saying only follow the guidance of your beautiful soul all right that seems like a really good place to stop um thank you for your likes and your subscriptions if you would like to book a reading with me cancer all of the information is in my description box below on the milkshake link i love you so much Mwah.